hello guys i'm dire chris and uh, i've made this video before and there was no audio so i'm kind of pissed right now <laughs> anyway uh, i should start by apologizing for not making a video for uh, like over two months or so i think and uh, i've not been able to catch up with you guys on my channel and i've been really really busy and the situation in my country right now is crazy so i've not been able to do anything but i just said i should try and make a tutorial today at least one or two and my mom might drop this tutorial in part so i hope that covers so uh by next year i hope i uh, will come back better so you guys should just hang on for now i am still around and uh, i'm still watching what you guys do so let's jump right into this tutorial i'm going to be making uh, a breakdown a color grading breakdown for the kingfisher that was my last short film the kingfisher so i picked this short which is i think everybody's favorite short so everybody's favorite shot yeah but well, i don't think i will grade all if i do grade all i am going to post this video in parts so let's start with this particular shot all right so, uh, like i said i don't really know how to i don't really remember how i graded the last one but i'm going to try and replicate the exact same look if i can and uh, the way i do that is by adding three nodes at first which is my color space transform my uh, film print emulation and my green and sorry if i bump into the mic quite a lot is um very close to me right now so that's gonna happen so let's drop this hold on let's drop this film green into our film green node i'm just going to add a custom preset uh preset sorry default preset which is 35 mm and in my color space transform let's search for that color drop it that and um in my input gamma i'm going to set black magic design film gen 5. i know in my previous color grading tutorials i set it to black magic design film although it's not, not that different though but there is a difference so you can set it to black magic film gen 5 if you have upgraded your camera to gen 5 if not try doing that is way better and then my output gamma i'm going to set that to simeon film log and for my output color space and my uh, input color space, I don't need to worry about that because I've already set it here my color management. Timeline color speaker is 709, so I don't need to set it every time I'm color grading. All right, let's close that. So we have our senior film log here. And then in our film print emulation, we're going to have a lot film looks. And because I want this grid to be a warmer, I'm going to go for the warmer lots. I think D55 is warmer, D60 is neutral, and D65 is cooler. So let's go for the warmer lot. Now, let me just show you the difference. This is D55. Uh, Where is it? Film looks. Let's go to D65. You can see it's cooler. So, yeah, I'm going from the warm style. And I've already added my green. So now I'm going to press Shift X, Shift S, sorry, Shift S to add a node before the CST. And I think someone asked me why am I adding a node before the CST and stuff like that. Well, uh, this grading, DaVinci is a uh, node based grading software. So, each grid you uh, apply is like layers so you just can't uh, apply the end of a layer to the beginning so you have to apply from beginning to end i don't know if that makes sense so yeah i'm just starting from end to beginning but i'm not applying the end at the beginning yeah, i hope you guys understand that so let's add our saturation node because this is quite desaturated so sad now like i said before you can use your saturation slider it makes no difference or maybe it does i don't know so i'm going to my rgb mixer my red output increase the red that's my red channel and my red output increase the red green channel green output increase the green max it out blue channel blue output max it out now this is a bit too saturated for me so i'm going to take it down maybe to like 0.7 or so let's go 0.777 or something i'm fine there and there. then i'm going to add shift s another node so if you wanted to do this from uh uh, what do you call it? beginning to end you can do that but i just like doing my end to beginning so we've got to call this node primaries primaries yeah and then i'm going to add another node which i'm going to call curves and then we'll add another node later so let's just play around with these two guys like i said my grading style is not really very, very technical i just grade it by air and if it looks good sorry i bumped it to my mic again and if it looks good um it works for me all right let's go to our waveform i think my way, uh, shadows are a bit too high so i'm just going to add more contrast take my lifts down take my returns up which is my gain take it up take my lift down again up again just play around 
we'll take my offset up just a bit take my gain just a bit and let's see before after you know just giving it a bit more contrast and let's add more accentuate it with the curves and i'm going to click on this link here because i want to add a default anchor so i don't have to add uh, all these dots manually to all the channels i don't like to doing that and then i'll turn it off so here i'm just going to do a little s curves just a little s curve no 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 i don't really think so because i can see my skies are blown out and we need dynamic range in our shots you know we need a dynamic uh look to to bring our skies back i'm just going to drop it down you know just retain a bit of information there just right there is fine for me so i'm fine with that in my curves now maybe add a bit of blue to my shadows just to touch a blue just small right there i'm fine right there and uh let's see maybe just uh, add some to my shadows you know just just to touch and this is before and after and just bringing more life to it adding more uh contrast to it so uh guys i have to check if this record in the game because the first time i made the video there was no audio so i have to check if there's audio this time hello uh, okay we're getting audio all right let's continue so back to our primaries let's see what can we do i think i'm good there right now then i'm going to add another node which i'm going to call hue pop you can call it anything you want you can call it blues i don't know but i just like calling my hue pop because it brings out the color it makes the color pop uh, yeah so i'm going to go to my qualifier qualify my skies shift h to view my uh my selection and then i'm going to add more parts of the skies i think that's good and then i'm going to here to my sliders to play around until i get a perfect key uh right here in my saturation slider you know, i think it has good there then let's go to my luminance and play around until you get your skies good so right here right here is just about good for me add a bit of blur so that you know how to have hard edges the below that's cool for me so now i've got my selection for my skies i'm going back to my primary color wheels and like i said before in my other color grading tutorials you can go to your colors turn on printer lights if you want to know the keys to use just go to your full printer light here and you see all the keys that represent whatever so for now i'm just going with my red green and blue number pad key so this is for your number pad if you want to add more red number part seven if you want to take out more red number part four so yeah now for this i'm going to add uh, more blues and take out some red now let me show you why i don't like doing this too much because if i add more blues look at this it starts going to green and you can use this as a stylized look but i don't really like it and to me it looks unnatural because the skies don't really look that green although it might look cool but it looks unnatural so i'm going to take it down a notch then take down the reds by doing that you add more blues to your sky which the sky actually looks blue so so just do that then you know add more i'll take out more blues and right here so right here i i like it right here it looks very natural and then i'm going to take down my gain you know to just so that i can't lose everything here all right then uh in here i'm going to go to turn this to clip and click on highlight recovery so i can get some details back in my highlights you know yeah, just a perks of shooting raw uh sorry if i sound tired guys it's uh, i think almost 12 right now if it isn't yet it's 12 o'clock right now in the morning 12 a.m so right now this is a bit too saturated for me this guy is too saturated for me so we'll just take it down around here so this looks natural to me let's go full screen yeah before after before after a bit too saturated too so just take it down a bit all right before after yeah i am fine with this you can see by just doing that you can see how our skies came to life skies are really important in great skies skies are really important so the next thing i'm going to do i don't like my skin tones it's too saturated for me so i want another node and call it skin tones skin tone and i'm going to apply another qualifier node you know and take tap a plus icon select everywhere around your skin you know to fine tune your selection shift h to show your selection and then mess around with these sliders here until you get a perfect key so no here's good uh, okay that's good 
Let's move around. Let's move around. And and I think I am good here. Let's see if we can get more things. No. 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 Okay, that's as good as it can go. Okay. And now we are good here. All right, so that's the key. Then yeah, we'll go to our virtual scope to see where our skin tools are lying. Right now, our skin tools are a bit to the yellow, to the yellow side. Yeah, and remember, in your printer lights, yellow is number part three to add more yellow. And to take out more yellow is um, number part full stop that's period so let's press number pad period and you can see it's going towards the red three and it's going towards the yellow three my uh, full stop and it's going towards the yellow so uh maybe right here it's around it but i can see it's saturated which i don't want so i'm going to reduce my saturation before i do that let me add some blur to the selection so that it's not be pixelated at the edges and so so disable my selection and turn down the saturation turn it down turn it down all right right here is looking fine to me before after before after maybe I just add a bit more saturation take it down a bit take it down a bit all right i'm kind of fine here maybe all right fine there fine then add more contrast here yeah. i am good here i think this is similar to the the one i did here so we're good here let's move on to the next shot which is uh let's see this all right i have to check if it's recording again guys hello all right it's recording i don't know if I'll, I'll put these files online for you guys to download i'm not really sure but maybe after making this video if i still have the strength to do that i will do that so ctrl c just copy the grade from here ctrl v paste the grade and let's see oh, my skin tones are a bit too dull i'm going to bring back my saturation all right now let's make a better key okay so you can see my skin tones are going towards the yellow bit so just take it out a bit and uh maybe bring down the again down just a bit so it won't be too blown out and i'm good see that see that so let's go to our first clip and turn everything off and see how the grades affects everything so csc fpe grain saturation primary curves hue pop and skin tone beautiful before after beautiful so moving on let's go to the next shot which is this i think this is the last shot i'm going to grade here i believe this is the last shot i'm going to grade here all right so let's let's try and copy the color grade and let's see you see it doesn't work kind of terrible actually so let's fix that let's turn everything off and see how the nodes are affecting the grade csd correct fp correct grain saturation primaries you can see what primaries are doing curves shoe pop skin tone now let's fix my skin tones first of all this grid is looking too too warm for my liking too warm so let's go to my hip hop city selection terrible very terrible no selection at all terrible so let's go to my qualifier pick out my skies you can see how it's changing pick out different parts of my skies okay then let's go and fit around here with the sliders to get a better key i don't want any of our skin tone showing let's go let's go let's go okay and this is it for me i'm going to do this just blow it out a bit i'm going to do that and 
back to my primary color wheels take down take it down take it down take it down take it down yeah i think i kind of like that maybe i'm a bit more gain and then like i said remove you some reds remove some blues remove some blues here so this is looking nice to me but the whole image is a bit too uh i would call it flat is that the word so i'm just going to add a bit more gain you know sorry i'm adding that on the wrong node let's go to the primaries add a bit more gain and gamma and we are kind of looking good here we are kind of looking good here now you can see from these places you can see how the key is affecting it you can go back and fix that but i really cannot do that right now so uh i believe in my older uh i mean the actual film i kind of made her skin blue because she's a mermaid and she was meant to look blue but it was not really visible and i don't know for some reason maybe it washed off after some time so let's go back to our skin tone key and make it better where is it where is it all right so pick the plus icon just tap on the skin tap on the skin now you can see the skies are back in so we have to fix that I have to fix that. All right. All right. I am good here. Let's go and play with me so we can get. So we can get. Okay, I'm good there. Now I have to check if it's recording again, guys. All right, we're still recording. Perfect. So you can see the key here. It's not that good, but you can, you can do better. All right, turn it off and then let's move our offset here and get a bit more blues. Yes, right here. Then add some saturation to the skin tone. So before, after, before, after. Beautiful. So I think I'm going to pack it here, guys. Maybe we can do other fiddling if I uh, release the shots eventually. Yeah, so you can fiddle around the shots. But this is it, guys, I believe. This is it. And it's quite simple and i'm going to make it part two where i grade all the shots so thank you guys for watching this video i am Derek chris